Welcome to my Baladi's Body Blitz segment of Inner Thigh Burner. For this workout, all you will need is a mat and a resistance band for the first half. I'm using a Pilates band just because it's a bit more comfortable rather than the tubing, but you can use tubing if you like. Also, if you want to intensify this workout, you can wear ankle weights. I'll demonstrate without, but if you want to, definitely do that. It's a focused inner thigh workout, so we won't be doing a warm-up as such. So if you need to warm up, go jog in place or go and do the warm-up off the YouTube channel and then come back. Okay, so setup is very important with this workout. So I'm going to get you to set up perfectly and might take a little bit of extra time explaining it so that you get the most out of each exercise. Right, start off lining your back up with the back of the mat. You can be up on your shoulder, on your elbow like this, with your shoulder directly up on top of your elbow, or you can lie all the way down. Now, your front leg is going to be towards the corner of the mat. Make sure your knee stays facing the front and your inner thigh stays facing the ceiling. The back foot is behind. You can come up on your toe if you prefer, but I'm just gonna keep mine flat. So with the band, actually put it around your leg first, I suggest, Open it up so it's nice and flat and put it just above your knee. So you're wrapping it around and then you're going to anchor that underneath the heel of your other foot. So if you find that it's a little bit difficult to do this without wearing shoes, you can wear shoes. So I'm going to put my heel on it. Now the key is to get some tension on that band, okay, really get tension. It's rolling up all over the place before you put your heel on and then securely put your heel on that and you're not going to move. So make sure you put your heel on, your foot is still facing along parallel with the back edge, your leg is still in front, there's tension on that band. If it's not enough tension, then you're not going to get the most out of it and you might have to stop and readjust throughout the workout. Okay, so coming back down, remembering toe pointed, inner thigh to the ceiling, front knee to the front room and up, start raising. So you can gauge it straight away. Is this going to be too tight? So too much resistance for your inner thigh to be able to finish the entire workout or is it too easy? You need to challenge yourself. So your hips can turn out slightly. It doesn't really matter as long as you're focusing on that inner thigh. And I'm not coming all the way down with my foot. I'm just coming down and back up. So there's always a gap underneath my knee. I'm never letting my thigh and my knee touch that mat. It's a pulse up, really focusing on lengthening away at the same time as lifting through that inner thigh. So you should already start feeling that now if you've choked up on that band enough. And up, and up, up, and up. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it up and we're gonna kick out and back. Out and back. Keeping your leg on the same horizontal plane. You're kicking out quite far. So you're gonna be working the back leg as well, seeing that you're anchoring that band. You really need to push your heel into the mat. Out, make sure your leg is high enough here that you still feel your inner thigh engaging as you push to the front. And you're not coming all the way in. The leg is stopping at that starting position where your toe is in line with the corner of the mat. Don't come all the way in to meet the back leg. It's out and in, out and in, out, out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now circle it. So you're circling, again keeping that leg out so the tension's always there, trying to come up high. Keeping your knee pointing to the front, don't turn your knee up to the ceiling. Don't slouch in this shoulder either, try and stay up. If this is uncomfortable, come all the way down lying your head on your arm. Really focus here. Circles, big circles. Eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one, and reverse it. Reverse it. So really starting to burn now. Keep that leg up. Don't start grazing the mat. That shows you that you've started dropping the leg. So keep it up and circle. Hold your tummies in to support your core, support your back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go forward, in, up. Forward, back, up. Forward and up. Forward and up. Really try and get it high. Should be burning a lot now. If ever you need to take a break, just take a short break and come straight back in. Forward and up. Forward and up. Leading with that heel, pointing that toe long for four and up and three and up and two and up and one and up. Now hold it up. We're going to bend, press, press. Press. So these are all classic inner thigh exercises that you probably would have done before, but with the addition of the band, it adds extra challenge and uses the muscles in a slightly different way. Keep that leg up, then press, press. You're locking out behind that knee every time that you're straightening that leg. Press. Don't let that leg come closer to the other one. Keep your toe in line with the corner of the mat. Keep pressing, keep it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now last thing on this side, we're going to come back in line, forward and up. Back, forward and up. So you're squeezing your two inner thighs together on the back. Back, forward and up. You're actually releasing the tension slightly on the back, forward and up. But keep that leg up and keep the knee to the front. Back, forward and up, slow and controlled. And up. The other thing you can do to make this more intense is if you have a hand weight, just place it on your thigh. Back, forward and up. Four more like this. And up, back and three and two last one awesome job we're going to go to the other side so now that you know what to do i want you to set up a little bit faster so that we don't waste any time wrap it around above your knee make sure it's nice and flat or it'll start pinching line your back up make sure you really stretch that band before you stick your heel on it Okay, stick your heel on it. Don't worry if it rolls up a bit. Pointing your toe, knee to the front, inner thigh up, and just start raising. So once again, you have to judge it. Is this tight enough? You don't want to be able to throw your leg up in the air. It's meant to be tight so that you really have to resist in order to even get that leg up as high as the other one. If it's not hard enough, choke up on that band right now. Your back is nice and flat, your tummy's in, your shoulder is nice and up so your neck is long, don't hunch down. This other knee is just facing to the ceiling and you're really digging that heel in. You're pointing this leg long and you're leading with that inner thigh. Don't allow your knee to point up towards the ceiling. And you're just raising it, nice fresh leg, up, and up really focusing really concentrating up and up breathing eight seven six five four three two one now hold it up remembering there's always a gap there and it's forward and back but the back is only to the point where you started in line with the corner of your mat. Forward and back. 
really stretch out long here and keep your leg high enough so you feel that inner thigh. This one's slightly easier than the first one, so you have to keep adjusting and everyone's slightly different. If you need to keep your leg higher, or even if you're starting out and you already feel it when it's much lower than mine, you just work at your level. Out and out. Keep going. Burning that out. All the way forward. Squeezing that leg. Straightening out behind that knee so it's nice and locked out. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up and we're going to circle it. Circle. So you're still out at that diagonal. You're not bringing your leg all the way in. And you are lifting as high as you can. Draw big circles on that opposite wall. Imagine you've got a crayon between your no toes, not your nose, and you are drawing large circles all the way up. The higher up you go, the more you're gonna engage that inner thigh. So keep going, keep lifting all the way up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up, reverse it, reverse. One side might feel a bit more awkward than the other, but just do your best. Do your best to try and imagine that circle that you're drawing on the wall. Large circles up around, around, not all the way down. Remember, knee to the front, not to the ceiling. Tummy's pulled in, shoulder nice and high, don't slouch. Keep circling, keep circling for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go forward, back, up. Forward, just to that point where your toe's in line with the corner of the mat, then up. Don't come all the way in and up. Forward and up. Forward and up. Keep your leg up. Breathe through it. Mind over matter. Tell your body you are going to submit. You're going to do what I tell you, leg. No stopping now. Forward and up. Forward and up. Four more sets like this. And three and two, and one, hold it up, bend, press, 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 really squeeze, squeeze your thigh, keep it up, big gap between your knee and that mat, point and extend, lock out behind that knee every time, squeeze your quads, keep that leg out, don't let it drift in towards the other one, Squeeze, squeeze. You can do this, keep going. Keep going, second to last exercise with the bands. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now it's back, out and up. Back to meet the other one and up. Squeeze in and up. So you should really be feeling that. When you squeeze back, squeeze those inner thighs together. Squeeze. Should be really, really sore, but in a good way. So just keep going back and up. You should be fighting to get that leg up. If you're not fighting for it now at the end of this band segment, you have not choked up on the band enough. You need to increase it next time or you will not get the results. And up, back, and up. Five more sets, four more. Up, all the way, three, up. Make these your best. Up, last, one, ouch. Okay, really quickly get rid of the band. We're just gonna stretch it out really, really quickly. Okay, so open up 
and wiggle around. Keep your kneecaps facing the ceiling and just lean forward, just stretching it out really quickly. Point and flex your toes. Okay. Now, going back to the first side. You can come all the way down again. We're bringing the top leg over. So I want you to line up your back and the leg parallel to the back of the mat. You can come all the way down for this one. Your top leg is over so your foot is anchored. Very important. I want you to roll forward. You can even put your hand like this. Okay, so you're rolling forward. Make sure you have this set up right. So when you lift at the back, start lifting. It's a much smaller range of motion than before but you're really focusing on the front of the inner thigh now because you're really keeping your body forward like this. Hold your tummies in and raise it as high as you can. Try not to bring that leg to the front. Try to keep it back. Look at it. Is it in line with the back of the mat? Don't let it come forward like this. Go back, back. You're still raising with that inner thigh but it's almost like you can turn your heel up to the ceiling. At the moment, we're trying to keep it parallel, but we will actually move forward even more later on to work the inner thighs and glutes at the same time. This other leg is out straight, anchored into the ground, and up, and up. Even try and think about meeting your thighs together each time. Just keep raising it, this leg had a bit of a break, so we're gonna to have to do lots of reps to get it to burn again. Up and up, up and up. Keep going. Don't drop your leg all the way down. There should always be a gap between that knee and the mat. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now make sure you're anchored, flex your foot. We're going to do like a bicycle. This is awkward, I know. Keep your leg up. So I'm just gonna move my leg so you can see. Keep your leg off the mat and push back with your heel each time. Keep it up and push back. Forward and push back. You're pushing all the way back to the back of that mat. Okay, all the way back. You have to keep your entire thigh off that mat. Check it, look down at it. Is your thigh off? Don't graze it on the mat. It's only your hips that are on that mat. Fight for it. Push all the way back. Forward extend back. Keep going. This is gonna to be tough, but you can do this. You need a break, take it. Three, push all the way back, two, push all the way back, one. Bend your leg. I want knee, toe, knee, toe. Once again, very restricted motion, toe. Knee, toe. Try to keep it back. Knee, toe. This is hard, but just do it. All the way up, try to get your foot up to the ceiling, your knee as high as you can. I know it's not gonna go high, but you keep trying, you bend that leg. By bending the leg, you're engaging the hamstring. Knee, toe, fight for it. Four more, fight, three, two, and one. Extend it, now roll all the way forward so that your hip bone is on the ground. So you're raising now, start raising with pointed toe. You're raising now with almost the back where your hamstring is, but you still feel your inner thighs. Roll all the way forward like this. And lift, lift. So you're slightly rolled onto your hip, the bottom hip, and you're raising up. Keep going, point that toe long, 
Keep that leg back. Don't let it come to the front. Hold your tummies in to protect your back. All the way up. Up, you should feel that more towards the back of the inner thigh where it meets that section of hamstring just under your butt. Up, you should also feel your butt lift high. Keep lifting. Up high. High, you can do it. Keep it up. Try not to ever let your knee touch that mat. This entire segment is without your knee touching the mat except for those knee toes. Up. Up. Squeeze it. Keep going. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, now hold it up, bend your leg. So it's on a diagonal, slightly towards the back. So now raise it, really restricted, I know. I know it feels weird, I know it's restricted, but this works. It's like you're pushing, pushing your toe to the back, back. You're pushing it up and back. You should really be feeling this in your lower back here, at the top of your hip as well. That's a bonus. Back. Back. Concentrate on pointing your toe towards the back wall so you still feel that inner thigh every time that you raise. If your toe is too far up to the ceiling, so vertical, you're not going to feel the inner thigh as much. Push back and it's up and back. You're raising your leg up and then pushing back with that toe. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now straighten that leg and come back forward so that your hips are stacked. Now bend this leg and bring it up as high as you can. And we're just going to go forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. So it's almost like you're meeting the back of this knee with the other knee and then pushing back, but you need to keep your leg up off that mat. You're just going forward and back, keeping your leg in the same horizontal plane. Your foot is slightly higher than your knee and you're pushing, you're pushing. You're feeling this in your inner thigh as well as your glute, as well as your hamstring. Keep pushing, keep going. Don't drop your leg. Don't drop it. I'm doing this with you. This is just as painful for me, so just keep going. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, don't drop it. Three, two, one. Keep it up. Extend, bend. Extend, Bend, when you extend, squeeze, bend, squeeze, keep it high, squeeze. Keep going, you want it in the thighs, you're getting in the thighs. This is getting in there. Keep going, keep that leg up, make sure it's still in line with the back of the mat. Don't let it sneak forward. Eight, seven, keep it up, six, Breathe. Four, three, two, one, hold it. Hold it up, get it up higher. Doesn't matter if it's shaking, let it shake. Hold it up, up. Your thighs should be touching. You should feel them touching there. If your foot ever cramps, you can make it like a Barbie foot or even flex your foot, doesn't matter. Hold it up. Hold it up, this is the last little thing. Just hold it there. Just hold it. Keep it high, let it shake. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it, right. Other side, straight into it. So, line yourself up. Come all the way down. Your whole back body is against the back of the mat. Your front leg, anchor it in line with your hip. 
come forward like this with your arms so you know that you're forward. Start raising. So you are slightly turning your heel to the ceiling, but you're not fully turning it up yet. Your hips are still, when you look like this, you're still stacked, okay? Keep going and push up. Fresh leg, doesn't feel too bad. Make sure it stays in line with the back of the mat. Look down, look through your legs every now and then and make sure that it's not sneaking to the front. Pesky little leg, you're gonna do what I say. Get up there, up, up. All the way up, get it high, as high as the other one. Now you know what's coming, don't slack off because you think it's gonna go forever. You have to give this leg the same treatment. Otherwise, you're going to be lopsided. Up. Up. All the way up. Keep going. Squeezing. Squeezing. Breathing through it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it up. Flex your foot and we're going to do those bicycles. So you really need to bring your leg to the front and then push back with that heel. Front and push back. So this is for your inner thigh and your glutes. Push back straight leg. Keep that leg off the mat. Do not allow your leg, your upper thigh to touch the mat. That's not the exercise. Keep it up and push it back. Keep it up all the way and then push it back. Make sure your hips are stacked here, rolling slightly to the front. On the back, think about your glutes, squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings on the back. When you bring your leg in, bring your heel really close to those glutes, that's gonna engage your hamstrings more. Squeeze it. Eight, seven, six, five, keep going. Three, two, one. Hold it in, point your toe. Knee, toe, knee, Toe. I know this is restricted. I know this is awkward, but just do it. Trust me, it will give you results. It's knee, toe. Try to twist your knee up. One side of your body is probably less flexible than the other. This is my less flexible side. So it looks like my knee is not really coming up very far, but I'm really trying. I'm trying just as hard as on my more flexible side. So you can see my toe is coming up as high as it can, then tapping on that mat. Keep your leg back, keep going, keep breathing, keep going. You can do it. You can do this. Four, three, two, one, now extend your leg and you're gonna roll forward onto that hip. Okay, roll forward so that now when you're raising, you can feel your glute engage. Point your toe. So you're not all the way forward, but you're definitely raising with that heel now. And your inner thigh is still raising up, but your kneecap is pointing at 45 degrees down towards the floor up. Don't ever let your knee rest down. In fact, don't ever even let your thigh rest down. It's only your very top of your thigh, your hip area, that's hitting the mat each time. It's push up. Pushing up with your heel. Push up. And up. And up. Squeeze up. Breathe through it. This feels okay. Because you're using your glutes and it's a much larger muscle group than your inner thigh, it actually feels better than when we're in that position with our hips stacked. 
So you can stay here a while. It's not that bad. Keep pushing. Think about something else, but make sure that you don't lose your form. And you really bring that leg up as high as you can each time. Squeezing. Lengthening out as well. Remembering to point that toe and stretch out so you're really locking out behind the back of that leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up and bend it. So now my foot is at a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna poke back, back, back. You're still forward and you're poking back to the back wall. It's like a slight extend up and out. It's a back but slightly extending out, if you know what I mean. So you're raising up and then you're pushing, pushing back and out. Really raise up. Keep higher than you, as high as you remember your other leg being on the other side. So don't slack off now. Really feeling it here in the lower back, but that's okay. Just keep going. Keep pushing to the corner. Pushing to that corner. Keep going. You can do it. You can do this all the way, all the way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you can turn back and we're going to bend and extend. Bend and extend. Extend all the way out, all the way out. When you bring your leg in, you're bringing your heel as close as you can to those glutes, which will engage your hamstrings more. Extend, keep it up. Keep your leg up, extend. You can do it. Just breathing, hold your tummy in to protect your back. Keep breathing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it in and it's forward and back on that same horizontal plane. So you bring your knee to meet the back of this other knee, then poking back, back. Try to keep that leg up. Try to not put your thigh down. You shouldn't be brushing the mat with your thigh. You should only feel your hip on that mat. Poke all the way back, all the way back. Keep going. Keep pushing. Breathe through it. Not much longer. You can do this. Keep it up for eight and seven, six and five, four, three, two, one. Now extend and hold. Bring it right up, dig your other foot in, bring it as high as you can and hold it there. Just hold it. Squeeze through that foot. Squeeze out behind the knees really straight. Your hips are stacked, your tummy's in. And hold it up. Try to touch your two thighs together. Extend that leg. It's back in line with the mat. You're keeping it up, don't drop it. Don't drop it. Mind over matter here. Last few seconds of this workout and then you're done. So really squeeze it, make a fist out of that inner thigh, keep it up high and don't let it drop. No matter how much it's shaking, just don't let it drop. You're the boss of your leg. Keep it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
Great job, that's it. You've completed it in the thigh burner. Come into a butterfly position, soles touching, and just wiggle around like this to get your blood back into that inner thigh area. Definitely burned it out. If it wasn't hard enough, put on some ankle weights next time. I guarantee you'll feel it the next day. And then just one leg at a time. Find the position where you feel this stretch. Rolling into it, but try and keep your sit bones on the mat. So you're just rolling forward, feeling that inner thigh. And then switching sides. Really feeling that stretch. It's always important to stretch it out after you've worked it. Otherwise, you're gonna get shortened, bulky muscles. You want to lengthen those muscles. And we're just gonna use the band around your foot. And you can come down on your elbow and just stretch it out. The other leg can just be out to the side. Make sure there's some tension on it and stretch it out to the side. And even though we didn't really work glutes that much, if you bring it over to the other side, you should feel that stretch. Bring it in and down. And then just switching sides, loop it around the other foot. And just let it open out. and then across, so anchor it and bring it across and then try to flatten yourself out again so your chest is towards the ceiling. Just bring it in a little bit, you'll feel it more. And then last thing, just opening out again and just chest down. Classic stretch really works. And that's it. Thanks for joining me for my inner thigh burner workout. I hope you felt it as much as me and I look forward to working out with you again soon.